Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the biggest difference between German and American restaurants. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first big difference is drinks. When you order a drink in the US, you get unlimited refills on your drink, and the cup is pretty big, and you get a lot of ice in it. Well, in Germany, you get a smaller cup. The prices are way higher because you might spend $2.99 on a big cup in the US, but at least you get a few refills on it, right? Well, in Germany, you don't get refills. So you get a cup with your drink, and that will have to last you the entire meal, except if you want to buy another cup. And they will charge you again for it. And that also means at the end of your meal, you don't get any to-go drinks. Another thing is, since we're at the drinks, you do not get free water. So if you want to drink, in a restaurant, you have to pay for it, no matter if it's soda, if it's water, or iced tea. Yes, the water costs less. It costs 170 usually, compared to the sodas that cost 250 But you still have to pay for it, not like in the US where you get unlimited free water. Another difference is, concerning our water, we have sparkling water or tap water. And most people prefer sparkling water in Germany. Considering our drinks, we have Fanta, Sprite, soap products like Diet Coke, Coke Zero and regular Coke. So we do not have Dr. Pepper, Root Beer, Mountain Dew, 7-Up, and all the other fun stuff that you have in the US. And another thing about drinks is that we don't have a lot of ice in our drinks. So we have like the light ice, if you have ice at all. Some places don't even put ice in your drinks. Not like in the US where they fill an entire cup full of ice, but that's also because you get free refills. And while you're dining in, in the restaurant, you usually don't really have an appetizer either. That's one big difference too. In the US, I've noticed you get like a salad or soup or bread. In Germany, you get your drink and then you wait like, 20 to 40 minutes for your meal to pop up. And when you get your meal and you don't like it, guess what? They don't care. You have to have to pay for it. They won't take it off the check just because you don't like it or replace it with something else. You ordered it, it's your fault. You gotta deal with it and that's it. Another thing about our food is we have smaller food portions. I've already mentioned that in one of my other videos. I'll just put the link up here, which is also why we don't really have to go boxes. So if you go to a restaurant and you're not able to eat your entire meal, guess what? They don't always have to go boxes, so. You can't take it with you. You might say, now, well, that doesn't sound too bad. But another big difference is our service in, the, in Germany. So in Germany, you get paid minimum wage. So that means your server won't be as desperate and to get you out of the restaurant. Because sometimes people stay like three hours. Where in the US, you would try to get the people out as soon as possible. Because most servers only get like two to three dollars, which end up going to the taxes. So you don't really get paid. But you rely on tips, so you get paid fried tips. That's why you want to have as much tables as possible. Where in Germany, you get your pay either way and you get tips on top. And this also brings us back to another point. If you want your bill, the server won't bring it to you because they're not trying to get you out of the restaurant. You will actually have to chase your server down. Good luck on that because sometimes they're like gone. You can't find them. You don't know what they're doing. They're not outside taking care of their guests. They're just poof, gone. People. Germany tend to not tip as much because they get paid for their servers either way. Which is why maybe in, in the US it's normal to tip like 15 to 20 percent, where in Germany you tip like maybe 2 euros to 5 euros, depending on how high the check is of course. But here's one really good thing about dining in a restaurant in Germany, because our taxes are actually already included in the price, so no matter where you go, you actually know what you're paying. So you can technically just use your phone, type it in, and you know exactly what you're paying. Not like in the US where you have the price and all of a sudden there's like an additional $10 because of taxes. That doesn't happen in Germany. Considering our payments, most Germans actually pay cash. It's not as common to pay with a debit card or credit card in Germany. Although that's getting more famous now, but credit cards are not a really big thing in Germany, like in the US where everyone pays like with the credit card instead of cash. Another thing you cannot do in most German restaurants is just run inside to use the restroom because they will actually charge you if you're not a guest at the restaurant. And good luck in finding a parking spot in the first place because not every restaurant has parking spots. And if they do, they're usually gone because there's not a lot of parking spots in Germany since people, most people either walk or take public transportation to get somewhere. That being said, those are our 14 big differences between German restaurants and the US restaurants. They both have their pros and cons. Technically, your server isn't as pushy as getting you out of the restaurant because they don't rely on tips. But on the other hand, if you need a server, they're not there. Mm -hmm. 